What's the deal with your donkeys? What's it, it's part of a uh, part of me following the the laws of New Jersey to maintain my uh, farmland assessments. So it, I, I mean, I'm reading this in the morning newspapers that you have a farmland assessment. So some kind of a tax break because what you've preserved the property as farmland. Yes, that's very true. So where's the beef on that? The beef is is I a lot of a lot of people on the other side think that I'm taking advantage of the situation. And I, and I totally, uh, I'm totally on the other side of that. I'm following, following the rule, the rule of the law, and I did not write the law. I bought the property; it was already assessed. Nobody's cutting me, cutting me any slack on the whole thing. And it's, it's just something that, you know, I, I've went out. I spend a lot of time doing that. It's not like it just sits there. I, I actually work on the farm and do all that. I think the absurd part about the whole thing is. The, the state of taxes in the state of New Jersey and the fact that I pay almost $60,000 a year on property tax. How many donkeys do you have? I have four of them. What are their names? Um, Echo, what are they, Echo, Lizzie, or Lily, Daisy, and Meadow. I, I think the conservation easement program is a fabulous program. I don't know if you permanently preserved your program or if you're just taking a, a tax break that would apply. But th- do you know the conservation easement program? You, you know, you make a commitment and you permit your property to be deed restricted so that it will never be developed. And in return for that, you get a tax break. I've I've heard of that, but I'm not in that light. I think you know the the biggest issue I run into on my property is most of my land is a, a forest and. Most of that is also wetland, so you're not allowed to build on it anyway, so I don't really fall into that, uh, that hole.